Tad Talk with Webb is back, baby! What's going on, guys? We have University of South Florida this week. Pretty excited about it. It's not really a redemption game, but we did play like dog shit last year. That is a fact. Uh, that was the week that Milrow was benched. Uh, and I think most of us knew going into that that Tyler Buckner wasn't the answer and Ty Simpson wasn't the answer. Uh, the stats for that game were very abysmal. Very, very. I mean, Tyler Butner went 5 for 14 and only 34 yards, no TD. Ty Simpson went 5 of 9, 73 yards, no TD. I mean, by far, the best performer was Roydale Williams, who had 17 carries, 129 yards for one touchdown, and then the leading receiver was, go figure, C.J. Dupree. One pass for 45 yards and no touchdowns. Uh, so, yeah, I don't expect that game to be that low scoring and that bad. Uh, I think Bama shows up and shows out. Like I said, the one thing I will say, University of South Florida, uh, last year, I don't know about this year because I have not checked stats. I do know last year they had a very fast offense. They were um, number two in seconds per play, and then they were number one in plays per game. So we know they're going to come out and go as fast and as hard and no huddle as they can. We know that. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, this game, I, I think, you know, you know, my predictions for it, I think it's going to be 42-17 when it's all said and done. And I may be being a little bit too generous with South Florida there. But I think uh, Ryan Williams, I think he has one to two touchdowns receiving. I think Justice Hayes is going to have like one, maybe two TDs rushing. I think he'll have 100, 100 yards, 110 yards. I think Milrow has two to three TDs easy, and I'm predicting Ty Law to have one touchdown, and I think Kobe Prentice gets on the board with a few catches and about 50, 60 yards. I really see that. I see like maybe Henderson or Hale coming out with you know 40, 30, 30 or 40 yards too. Um, so I think the ball gets passed around a lot. Like I said, and the main thing with with Florida and then playing these type of offenses, and this goes for anybody. It can be an SEC tier team, it can be a SWAC team, a MAC team. Whatever, CUSA, American Conference. If you have a team that's known for going just as fast and as hard as they can, as much as they can, you know, especially in a four-two-five, you've got to play contained. You've got to play sound, sound discipline, and you have to make sure gap control. That's the biggest thing. Um, I think we'll see that with a four-two-five. I think um, that is something. Then we'll see. I think you'll see a lot of tackles when we when we go against the run. I think you're going to see a lot of the defensive linemen make a lot of the tackles versus the linebackers or even the cornerbacks coming up and helping out with run support. Um, like I said, you know, I think this will be. I, I would I would say for this game, like Milrow, if I'm Milrow, I want to work, and if I'm the offensive staff, I want to work intermediate passing. You know, we we know Milrow is very good at long bombs and throws it. Some of them he hits an intermediate pass and the receiver just breaks it that long because we've got some speed out there. we got some speedsters. But I think, though, that it would be nice to see them work on more of the intermediate passing game, more of the dunk and dink type stuff, stuff that we're going to have to pepper in there when we hit the, the meat of our SEC schedule because we can't just throw long and throw bombs the whole time. So I think that will be great. I think early on it would be nice to see for the team uh, a little bit more continuity and blocking on the offensive line uh, to – Basically, get that rolling earlier than we did last time. No three and outs. Um, no, con whew, no confusion uh, going into the plays or anything like that. Uh, I think that would be great. I think that'll be. I don't think that'll be ironed out this week. A little bit less penalties. We had a lot of a lot of fabric on the field last game. A lot of fabric. So hopefully that gets ironed out. I'm sure that was a point of contention this week in practice. So I think that was good. Uh, and I'm just excited. Like I said, hopefully um, Jam Miller is getting healthier again, and we'll see here on the field as well. And I think we will. Um, like I said, excited to always see Bama roll. Uh, I've got something new I'm going to try out this week. I want to try to give my predictions, a.k.a. and maybe a few upsets, on the top 25 games. Around college football, top 25 predictions. Uh, we have Texas versus Michigan. I'm calling it. 48-16, Texas. Now, Texas has the ability to blow them out even more. It could, be a, it could be a match. You know, I don't think Michigan has the offense to match uh, Texas. Now, I think 
Michigan has a really, really, really great defense. I'll give them that. But I don't think they can sustain the onslaught of Texas' offense. But interesting game to watch. It'll be between Texas' offense, Michigan's defense. Penn State versus Bowling Green. Boring game. I still think Penn State sleepwalks through that game. 28-12, Penn State. Arkansas versus Oklahoma. Um, Oklahoma State, sorry. Uh, Oklahoma State has a really good running game. I think they have one of the best running backs in the country. Uh, decent offense. Honestly, I'm calling the upset here. I, I think Arkansas beats them 34-28 in a close one. Barn burner. It could be a little bit higher scoring maybe. I think Arkansas has finally got a quarterback, the best quarterback they've had in maybe 15 years. I think, I think this could be not 15, let's say 10 years. I think it would be killer. I think Arkansas – is poised and ready to upset Oklahoma State. So I'm calling Arkansas 34-28, Arky. Uh, K-State versus Tulane Green Wave. Snoozer, I think K-State swarms all over on 40-12 K-State. Georgia Tech versus the Cuse, the Syracuse. I think this game is going to be 24-14, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech has a lot of seniors, senior quarterback. They're just good enough to be dangerous. They run a very weird offense. A lot of teams are not used to defending. I think 24-14 Georgia Tech. Georgia versus Tennessee Tech. Snoozer. I'll go ahead and just give you this without even analyzing it. 62-6 Georgia. Dundata. Dundata. Notre Dame versus Northern Illinois. Is. Um, I think Notre Dame pounds them 34-7. to I don't think there's any – any now, they could have a hangover from last week beating um, Texas A&M. There could be a hangover. We don't know. I still think uh, Notre Dame busts that ass, 34-7. to All right, Baylor versus Utah. Interesting game. Utah is pretty darn good. Baylor's got some talent. I'm calling a close one here. Utah with a win. I'm calling 28-26 Utah. Iowa State versus Iowa. Rivalry game, baby. Iowa State and Iowa. I'm taking Iowa 24 to 10. Go Hawkeyes. Uh, Louisville versus Jacksonville State. Uh, obviously, I think Louisville is a clear winner. 36 14, Louisville. Ole Miss versus Middle Tennessee. Uh, hands down, easy call. 64 to 3, Ole Miss. Easy. Florida AM versus the U versus Miami. I think my, my jammy comes into it hard. 38-10 to 10 is the outcome. Miami the winner. Uh, Alabama versus US, US, USF, 42-17. Like I said earlier, Bama wins it in an easy one. Uh, Missouri versus Buffalo, easy. I think Missouri wins this easy, 34-0, to zip, Missouri. Kansas versus Illinois. Uh, I think this is an easy one. Uh I think I think 28-7 Kansas. I think uh, Kansas has a lot of speed. They have a really fast quarterback. I think this is a pretty easy one for them. Ohio State versus Western Michigan. Not really a competition. I'm calling 38-10 Ohio State. Tennessee versus NC State. This is one of my favorite games of the week. A lot of talent. Both teams are ranked. I do think Tennessee blows out NC State. I think Tennessee has the best quarterback in the country right now. Uh, this kid is absolutely a phenom. I can't even pronounce his last name. He's like six foot twenty-five out of Hawaii. The guy's got a cannon and he can run. Uh, Tennessee has a lot of perimeter guys that are fast, a lot of skill guys. I think I think Tennessee blows them out. 48-28 Tennessee. Uh, I think LSU versus Nickel State. Easy call in this one. 40 to 10 LSU. Oklahoma versus Houston. Uh, pretty easy game. I think Oklahoma easily wins this one, 36-14 Oklahoma. Clemson versus App State. You know what? I definitely think Clemson's going to win. I think App State could give them fits. they got a pretty good little offensive team. Got a good quarterback. Got, got some really good skill and perimeter guys. I think it's 24-12 Clemson. Uh, Oregon versus Boise State. This is a close one. Close one. Wouldn't be shocked if Boise State won it. But I will say this. I think it's 21-17 Oregon. I think Oregon may be a pretender. Not as good as a lot of people think this year. So we'll see. 
Arizona versus Northern Arizona blowout, 41 to 7, Arizona. Then we have USC versus Utah State, easy blowout. I think USC takes them, 41 17, USC. Yay! Anyway, you guys have a blessed weekend watching college football. I'll be back over the weekend, and as always, run!